What's up? Today we are finally going to install the EBMX motor. I've had this for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I've been busy with work, so today we're finally going to get it installed and uh, hopefully get some testing done. Jared from EBMX flipped his bike over to uh, get his installed. I'm going to try, obviously take the stand out, but uh, try and do it up this way. See how I go. If it, if it doesn't work, I'll just flip it over as well. Obviously first you have to remove your bash guard, whichever one you're running. I do have the EBMX shrouds as well, so I'll take those off, take this out, drop the uh, X9000 off, drop that panel back so I can get to the access to all the cables behind there. It's not going to be a full installation video, I'll just show you cuts in and out of how I'm progressing. I've used my bike carrier here and put my bike on, just strapped it down. And then I put the towel there as like a little workbench and any screws and bolts I drop, I can find them nice and easily. I've got the guard removed. I've dropped the X9 off the front. I've pulled this back. I've got access to all my cables now. First of all, when you're doing this, make sure you remove this first. Um, if you're doing a primary chain upgrade or belt replacement or removing the swing arm, you always need to take this off first. Once you've Loosen all that up, it is hard to get this to not spin. As you can see here with the cables, this is the new cable, this is the old cable. I'll just show you the difference. So with the old cable, you've got this plug, and then that goes down to your normal Suron harness. On the new EBMX motor cable, same plug. There's your two plugs here for your harness, and then you've got this extra one for your encoder on the motor. So yeah, just a little side-by-side -side comparison, see what the difference is. Now I've just got to remove the motor and then give everything a little tidy up. I'll give this all a nice little clean and then bolt it back together. Got the motor out. Here it is next to the EBMX. It's a, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's uh, a lot bigger, the old EBMX. And a lot heavier, but I've got some scales here, so I'll throw them on the scales and we'll uh, get the weight of them. So the stock one is 7.1 kilos. And the EBMX is coming up at 11.3. Uh, Just a little tip that I've worked out is uh, when you've got a nut going into a socket like this and you're trying to put it in there and it keeps falling out and you can't hold it so you've got to guide it in there and it just keeps falling out. Let's get a bit of masking tape. Don't need much. Put it over the end like that. Stick your side down. Put your uh, push your nut into that, and now you can guide it in there, and it won't fall out. Got the uh, EBMX motor fitted now. Bash guards back on, shrouds back on the X9. Feels the guard quite nicely. Definitely think this is a better option when you're installing a um, EBMX motor. It's rock solid, this uh, guard. So I've got the motor all installed, um, I'll put it on the stand, then we need to go into the app, change the settings and get it calibrated and hopefully go out and give it a rip. We've got it calibrated, spinning in the right direction, um, we'll take it out for a little test run. I'm still running the 48 tooth sprocket from my understanding with the cat high KV, it's not going to be that beneficial to have the 48, I do need to bump that up to the 58 or bigger. But um, as my original test was with a 48, I'm just going to take it out with a 48 and see what the top speed we get with that, that uh, sprocket. Uh, that was impressive. So with the same settings, everything's all the same except the motor. It got to 109 a lot easier than what it did with the uh, stock motor. And you saw the other day, I couldn't get to, a, the best I could do was 100 the other day on these tires. So 109 on these tires is pretty good. Um, pretty happy with it. That, it just feels a lot easier. It's a lot smoother. That other motor was just struggling all the time. This one just rolls straight on, power all the way through.
back from the first ride on the new EBMX motor. Super stoked on it. It went, it went so much smoother than the stock motor. Um, I was a little worried that I'd wasted my money. I do buy all my own parts. I just happen to like EBMX. They sell quality stuff here in Australia. It's just easy to get with no import taxes. It goes a lot smoother than the stock motor. It has a lot of power way through. I did run the uh, 48 tooth sprocket on there. Um, with a high KV motor, I do need to upgrade that uh, sprocket to a bigger size, which will give me the bottom end torque again. Next test is uh, I'll put the dirt tires back on there find some trails and and see how we go off-road thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one cheers